Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement image picking in Flutter web. So let's get started. So here is the app been running on my browser that is a Flutter application. So there is a button through which a user can pick an image from the computer. So you can see when I press on this button, a window will get open uh, that is a picker, picker window from which a user can pick any image and the selected image will be shown in the application. So this is the thing we are going to implement in this video tutorial. So in my Android Studio IDE, I have created a new Flutter project by name ImagePick and I have removed the default code that is the counter code given by Flutter and instead of that, I am just replacing it with a scaffold widget with app bar in that and in the body, I am just showing a elevated button so that the user can pick an image. So to image picking, we are going to make use of a package called as file picker. So just go to popspecification.yaml file and under dependency section over here, you just need to add the package. Okay, so file picker. So just add it and hit the pub get button. Once you've done that, you can just make use of this package by importing in main.dart page or wherever it is required. Okay, so now let's implement image picking. So here in the main.dart page, I have a app starting point of the application. And in this starting point, I am just calling my class that is file picking example, that is a stateful widget. So in this uh, class itself, I'm going to create uh, some functions and variables where the image can be picked. So first of all, here let's create a variable called as platform files. So this class comes from the package that we have just uh, recently updated over here, added over here. Okay, so just do that. Okay, so by this, the package will get imported over here. Okay, and this will be a nullable. And let's name this a variable to image file okay so initially it will be a null so we can just give a nullable okay and whenever the user picked any file by picking the images from the computer we will we are going to store it in this variable okay so for file picking we are going to create a function so let's create a function over here future void and let's name it as pick file pick image and let's make this function as async name okay and let's wrap it with the uh, try and catch block okay so inside this try block we are going to pick a image so first of all image picker we just need to make use of image picker result so this will be also a nullable result await file pick dot platform dot pick file okay and here you just need to define which kind of file you want to pick so type file type image okay so by doing this only the image file will be able to pick okay and now if in case if the user uh, press this function and if you do not select any images from the picker then you just need to handle it so for this we can just add a if condition over here so result is equal to if result is equal to null then just return do nothing Okay, and if the user has picked the image from the gallery or from the window, you can just set it to uh, this variable. Assign this picked result to this variable. Okay, so for this underscore image file is equal to result dot file dot first like this. Okay, so now we have successfully uh, assigned our picked image to this variable. So now we can just show it in our uh, front end. Okay, so for this here uh, about the button itself as we are showing over here, I can just show a image. So let's do that. Okay, so for this we can make use of a, a widget called as image dot memory. So from the memory we are going to show the image byte. So for that we just need to convert the byte into UTC list format. Okay, UTC 8 list dot from list and image pick picked image nullable dot byte okay and just give a comma over here okay and with this we also need to define the size of this image to be shown to the user so width and height we need to provide over here so here width i can give as 400 and height i can give as 400 by 400 and this image will immediately show even if there is no image being picked by the user Okay, so let me show you, uh, let me run this on a Chrome browser. 
okay so the app got run on my browser and you can see the warning being shown over here because the image has not yet been uh, picked by the user and you are going to try this image to be shown to the user on the front end so you just need to handle this so for this what we can do if we can just add a if condition over here if image underscore image fell is not equal to null if it is not equal to null then only we are going to show this widget on the screen okay so let me refresh this so i can see now i can pick a image from the gallery okay so i need to call this function yeah i so i forgot to call that function when the button is been pressed so i can just do it like image fell okay so its function name is yeah pick image sorry okay refresh okay so you can see i can just pick a fell from the gallery like this okay so i can just pick any image from here so you can see the image is getting showed on the screen Okay, I can say select any images and it will be shown on the screen. So that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocol as point. Thank you.